28 Afghan nationals were deported from Germany for the first time since the Taliban returned to power in 2021. Emmanuel Macron signs a deal with Alexander Vucic to sell Serbia 12 Rafale fighter jets. Russia launched a guide bomb attack on Kharkiv Friday afternoon, killing five people and wounding scores more. Germany deported 28 Afghan nationals with criminal records back to their homeland for the first time since the Taliban returned to power in 2021. The deportees were described by a government spokesperson as convicted criminals who did not have the right to stay in Germany and against whom deportation orders had been issued. Those deported reportedly had convictions for rape, serious arson and manslaughter. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz described the move as a clear sign that those who commit crimes cannot count on Germany not deporting them. However, the move has been met with criticism. <laughs> Amnesty International's German branch said the government had bowed to political pressure during an election campaign and that Afghanistan was not safe, so deportations there violate international law. French President Emmanuel Macron has signed a deal with President Alexander Vucic to sell Serbia 12 Rafale fighter jets. The announcement was made during a news conference in Belgrade during Macron's visit to strengthen Serbia's ties with the European Union. Macron called the deal historic and important. Le choix des avions de chasse Rafale par la Serbie est à cet égard un choix clair, celui d'une alliance de long terme entre nos deux pays au sein d'une Europe plus forte et plus souveraine. Et que ce choix participe de notre autonomie stratégique et du renforcement de celle-ci. Serbia needs to upgrade its fleet, and Vucic said the Rafale deal was huge news. Pomoćnim logističkim paketom, dakle od rezervnih motora do svega drugog, ukupna vrednost ugovora je 2,7 milijardi. 12 potpuno novih aviona bit će u vlasništvu Republike Srbije. Russia has been the traditional supplier of military aircraft to Serbia, which has refused to join international sanctions against Moscow for its invasion of Ukraine. Macron warned that after the Russian invasion, Serbia's balancing game between world powers was an illusion. He said Serbia will only be able to protect its interests and preserve its identity as part of the EU. U tom smislu Srbija jednostavno jeste neprikosnovena i pokretač tog ekonomskog razvoja celokupnog Zapadnog Balkana. Ali ono što je činjenica, to nije dovoljno u pogledu dugoročnih perspektiva razvoja Srbije i mora se pokušati da se sustignu ili bar približimo se tim zemljama kao što su, na primjer, Slovačka, Rumunija, pa čak i Hrvatska i Slovenija. U tom smislu jako je bitno partnerstvo sa Francuskom. But selling Rafales to Russian ally Serbia, which has occasionally expressed an aggressive stance towards its Balkan neighbours, has raised some concerns. One of those is how France plans to prevent sophisticated Rafale technology from being shared with Russia. Sharp glass needles that are created in volcanic eruptions have started falling on communities across the Reykjanes Peninsula as a volcano in southwest Iceland continues to erupt. The Icelandic Meteorological Agency said jets from the latest eruption have been particularly high and that spread the so-called witch's hair over a wide area. The Iceland Review travel website says as it's essentially fiberglass, witch's hair shouldn't be touched with bare hands. The eruption, which began on August the 22nd following a series of earthquakes, continues to pull in international visitors to Iceland. This is the sixth time the volcano on the Reykjanes Peninsula has erupted since December. Authorities say the eruption's effects remain localised with road closures but don't threaten the population. Iceland, which sits above a volcanic hotspot in the North Atlantic, averages one eruption every four to five years. The most disruptive in recent times was the 2010 eruption, which sent clouds of ash into the atmosphere and disrupted air travel for months.